Imagine a world full of numbers, many more numbers than you can see on your screen right now. In fact, there are many more numbers than you can even imagine. That's the reason why counting never ends. We can keep counting forever. But numbers are not isolated entities. They can interact with each other. And if we take a closer look, we will notice that these interactions can result in a new number. In this video, we will explore one of them, addition. We will start with the basic case of addition. So let's add 3 and 4. We can work this out using the channel's current picture, so 3 little mathematics creatures for number 3 and 4 for number 4. So all the creatures combined give a total of 7. But what can we do if the numbers are bigger? Imagine we have to add 13 and 14. In this case, we add 3 and 4 first, so 7, as we explained in the previous example. And then we have 1 plus 1, which equals 2, so the result is 27. But here is a safer way to carry out addition sum on multiple digit numbers. First, we align the numbers vertically like this. The digits on the right are the ones or just the ones we need to add first, no pun intended. And then we add the digits on the left only to get the same result as before, 27. The next example is a special case of addition that might seem a bit challenging in the beginning as there is an additional step to take to complete it. Again, no pun intended. So starting with the ones column, 8 plus 6 equals 14. But we only write number 4 below the equals line. Moving on to the next number column on the left, 3 plus 4 equals 7. But this time, 1 must be included in the sum, so we end up with 8 instead, and the result is 84. In this final example that involves 3-digit numbers, we start again by adding the numbers on the right and work our way to the left. So, 8 plus 6 equals 14. Write down 4 and ignore 1 for now. Then on to the middle number column, 5 plus 7 equals 12. But remember, 1 must be transferred to the next number column as an extra and so we get 13 instead. Again, we only consider 3 as part of the result and leave 1 out. Last but not least, the sum of the numbers on the left. But when we take 1 into account, that sum becomes 4 instead. And here we have it. The number that results from adding 258 to 176 is 434. But what is addition in simple words? What does it mean? What does it look like? In general, addition is about combining quantities expressed by numbers. Interestingly, we can visualize addition by combining objects or sets of objects physically. So as you can see in this short animation, the point of view may be different, but the result, number 6, is always the same. 